Hey there, welcome to my first reset video. So I'm super excited about doing these reset videos. I'm going to try to keep them really short. Well, as short as I possibly can. But I just want to share um, how I'm resetting for the month. I realized that as a mom, like I watch a lot of reset videos. And one thing I realized is that a lot of people or a lot of women are doing these videos. And it's like usually something they do all in one day. But I realized that for me, I usually reset like for my weeks or for my months, I usually need to reset for like one week because I have two kids, right? So I need time to actually sit down and do the different things that need to be done. So when you are watching some of the footage, it's gonna look like multiple different days and that's because it totally is, um, but it's how my life looks. And I feel like this will be really good for those of us that maybe are moms or just have like a lot of other obligations where you're not able to just sit down in one sitting and do everything. Now for this month, a lot of things were able to be done in just one day, but um, there were a couple of things that I had to like do over multiple days. So let's hop into that. So in my reset for the year video, I talked about the different areas that I am focusing on for this year. So I'm focusing on my physical space, my digital space, setting intentions or goals. I try not to call them goals this year, but I'm gonna call them like intentions for the month. And then my business. So I'm gonna kind of follow that same format when I am resetting my life. So the first thing is my physical space. This month, I am super excited to announce that I I have officially cleaned my closet. So my closet has been an area that has just really just been tripping, right? It's an area that I just was struggling. Um, for the last maybe three or four years, my closet has been a dumping pit for all things life. Um, and once I got pregnant with my oldest, I just was not able to keep up with the maintenance of the closet. And so this month, I finally sat down for two hours. Well, it was probably like three hours. And I'm so excited that I was able to just get everything out of the closet and cleaned up. So now the only thing left for the physical space when it comes to the closet is for me to declutter our clothing. So there's um, my clothes that are at the top, my husband has some suits in there and then the kids have clothes that are hanging up that they literally haven't worn in like two years so I need to get all those things decluttered and I will probably do that in the upcoming months I don't know when but the whole point is that the closet is officially clean I can walk in it I can sit I can do all kinds of things that I could not do for the last three years and I'm just super excited about that so that was the first part of the monthly reset the next thing is the digital reset so my digital reset for this month was my emails I had about nine 900 emails between like five different inboxes and so this month I decided that I was going to go through and just get rid of as many emails as possible so I think I'm now down to like 200 there's still a way to go but I realized these last 200 emails are actually emails that I'm trying to figure out how to actually maintain them or I don't even know what to do with them because there are things that I need to respond to that I haven't responded to yet or like there are different things that I need to like keep up with in terms of like maybe there's some deadlines or something that's due and I need the email to know. I don't I don't even know what I'm doing with these emails so I do have to figure that out but at least as far as I'm concerned, I'm at inbox zero because everything has been looked at, it has been touched. Um, I just need to figure out like a better maybe filing system or something. So if you have a filing system or whatever that you do for emails or like a YouTube video I can watch, like help me sort how I'm doing these <laughs> these emails, I would love to know because right now I just have like an inbox of 200 because I have no clue what to do with them until I actually, you know, take care of whatever the matter is. Now I want to go over my January intentions with you. So I'm going to put you beside me so you can see my checklist. So the first thing I had was my weekly podcast, which I did do. That was great. The next thing I had to do was my weekly emails for my community, which I did do. Uh, the next thing is my YouTube videos each week, which if this one gets up on time, that will be done, which I'm pretty sure it will be because I'm recording it when I need to. Um, I had to do bi-weekly emails for my photography studio. I did not do that. I didn't send a sing single email for that. Um, I had to do five Instagram posts per week and five stories per week. I did not do that. Um, I did it for the first three weeks of the month and the last week everyone got sick and I wasn't able to do it. So that is a no. Um, we had a date night. Um, one of my intentions was to do a date with Tay. We did do that. We went axe throwing. It was so much fun. So that was done. Two outings each week with the boys. That did happen. And I'm super excited because I really wanted to get better at um, actually going to different places and events with the kids. So that was really fun. Um, we went and like got um, tacos. We did like all kind of stuff. Um, so that was fun. We went to like a dinosaur place. So we had a great time with the boys this month. Uh, eat at home Fridays a week. That did not happen like in the slightest. Um, it, it was three whole weeks where we did not um, 
like eat at home five days a week and I don't even know how this happened well I do know sometimes like Tay will come home and he's like not in the mood to cook and I'm like having a long day so I don't get anything done so that kind of sucked um a solo friend date that did not happen I didn't go on a solo date or a friend date um that kind of sucks because I thought that I was going to do this and then life happened and I just I think I just honestly forgot so that was a no um update the becoming CEO sales page that was done that was a business thing finished reading the bible I did not do this so when we all got sick I fell off and I was not able to finish reading the bible I did a 30-day bible plan it's taken me now so it'll probably take me about 75 days to finish because I started it in December and then I didn't finish it last month because we got sick and then I didn't finish it this month because we got sick so that has been frustrating but it's okay it'll get done and then read one book i'm reading traction right now but um while i was reading traction my husband got this book and it's a terrible book i'm not even going to share what it is because honestly it's a it's a horrible book but i did read it so that's my one book for the month so we'll check that off uh, pay off one credit card or that did not happen this month only because i decided to pay off something else so i guess technically i could check that one off but because i wrote a credit card i'm gonna leave it alone and then write one letter to a friend. I'm so bummed out. I don't know why I didn't check that I had the school on the list because I actually have been talking to quite a few of my friends, but I did not write the letter. So that's okay. We will though add in, you know, communicate <laughs> because I did communicate with friends this morning. I mean this month, um, which is something that I don't, that I suck at doing. So I know my camera's getting out of focus, but that is something that was done. So that is the that's what happened this month so i feel really good about how january went january we like started off super super strong and then we all got sick literally the last week of the month which really sucked um the kids had like super high fevers it was a very stressful situation for like a better word but this month actually went really really well and i'm just super excited about like i was able to really keep up with like routines that i wanted to set and it's not even routines it's just things that i wanted to do every single month it actually got done which really made me feel good so for february i'm gonna set very similar habits i know like my thing for this year is habits um and routines like that is my goal and so i'm gonna kind of keep the things that i had set for this month pretty much the same the only changes that i'm gonna be making i'm changing up my instagram posting and i'm also gonna set less personal life goals and i need to figure out something else to do besides like saying that i'm not gonna eat out well, I'm, I'm going to cook at home five days a week because I feel like that was super ambitious considering that our family, like we just, a lot of things sometimes happen and I'm not a big meal prep person. I was thinking that maybe in February I would try my hand at meal prepping, but I'm just not the meal prepping person. And then Tay doesn't like leftovers. So he like, he doesn't always want to eat meal prep food. So I, I'm still thinking about how exactly we're going to do that. But yeah, I'm going to set less, um, less personal life goals the only thing is that i really wanted to do better with friendships but i think that what i'm going to do for that goal because i'm like i'm making i'm, I'm having conversations with my friends like i'm talking to my friends but i'm not like spending time with them so i think what i'm going to actually do is this month in february i'm going to schedule to spend time with them in the summer and i know that sounds crazy but considering that most of us have kids it really is not far-fetched for us to plan in ahead so i have a friend um we actually have a couple friend and like we've planned to do something in february but we planned that in january so i'm almost like it i'm still doing what i said i wanted to do which is like spend more time with my friends but we have to be a little bit more strategic which is kind of crazy to say but like we have to be thinking into the future because we're all busy we, we all have kids we have jobs like there's just a lot of things that are going on in everybody's life and so it's kind of hard to be like oh let's do something friday night on a tuesday because who knows what's going to be going on between those days that we have to do so um i think that that's going to be something that's a little bit better instead of me trying to plan to do you know and plan to like spend time with my friends every single month to just like plan into the future and then i think instead of doing like monthly friend dates i'm just gonna do monthly solo dates uh and see how that goes i'm not really sure how i'm gonna do that i'm thinking that maybe i could do like i don't know i'm still trying to think about how this monthly solo date is gonna go if i do them i will like record a little bit so that i can show that it was done but i really want to get better at like just doing more things without the kids um oh you know what 
the reason I know why I didn't do the solo date this month the solo date was going to be I was supposed to go to North Carolina for a photo shoot and I was going to do the solo date there but the kids got sick so we all got sick at like the same time and it lined up with the day that I was supposed to go to the trip so that's why I didn't I was like why didn't I do the solo date so that's why I went solo date that kind of sucked but I'm glad the kids are okay I'm fine so you know it's all good but um that's why the solo date didn't happen this month my focus for this month is just to continue to try to set better habits and to just come up with like a routine for us we have a couple of routines that we do follow we have a morning routine now we don't quite have a night routine an evening routine but we're still trying to figure out like how that's going to look for us the evening routine is a little bit harder because tay comes home at different times each day like every day he doesn't come home at the same time so like some days he'll come home at like three o'clock in the afternoon and then other days he doesn't come home until like eight o'clock so it it kind of like if he, when he comes home early it throws us off if he comes home late it's fine but when he comes home early it's like oh we want to play with Tay all day so that's when things get a little bit crazy but we're working on figuring out some routines for the night just to be more flexible with Tay's schedule so that's what's happening there but overall January was a whole vibe like I'm really excited about just being able to be consistent with YouTube I'm really excited about the consistency with the podcast with my emails I've been writing so many emails this month um, I was really consistent with Bible study um, and reading the Bible until we got sick uh, so this month like it just really really went well this month made me realize the importance of like some flexibility in my intentions when it comes to just being a mom of small kids I'm sure as kids go older they still get sick but I, I don't think I realized like oh you know sometimes they just like randomly are not feeling well in the middle of the month now I knew this like I know that my kids get sick and stuff like that but when you set goals that are based off of you know every day something needs to be done it doesn't take into like you're not thinking about life actually happening and so that's something that I want to like get better at when it comes to February is not setting so many goals that are dependent on I have to do something every single day because I think that's unfair um unless it's something that I'm able to plan well in advance so like my social media posts I could have planned you know all of them at one time but I'm in a season where I actually enjoy planning them week by week and so because of that the week my kids got sick I wasn't I didn't post anything so I think that I, like, that's one of the reasons why I'm changing that goal because I don't really want goals that are oh I have to do something every single day and more so I really enjoy goals that are like more weekly type of things so that's going to be one big change that I'm going to make going forward and then even though I said I want to do like less personal goals this month I think that it's less about setting like personal intentions and more so about I just want to spend every day living as much in the moment as possible without overly planning or like overly thinking about what needs to be done this month was really really fun because I had like oh, okay I want to do two things each week with the boys all that kind of stuff next month or for February I really want to focus on okay I want us to wake up and like just like I'm, I'm gonna write a bucket list I think and we're just gonna wake up and just do something I think that'd be really really fun because I really want to just do more living in the moment and I want to do more documenting of the things that we're doing so um right now I'm buying materials so that I can start scrapbooking because I'm gonna start scrapbooking for the boys um and for myself but I'm but I'm making them like their own scrapbooks and that's gonna be really really fun and yeah that's it so January was great it was a vibe um I feel like resetting over the course of you know several days and actually it was over the course of a week I think that that was a really really good thing for me to do and um it's something I'm gonna do going forward because I know that trying to reset in one day or even in two days is just entirely too much for me and my lifestyle with two kids but I think that if I'm able to reset a little bit over the course of a few days then it just like makes my life so much easier. So that was it for this video. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. If you like this video, let me know what else you would like me to like maybe share or show about my resets. Um, I know this one wasn't really much of a like showing or me talking, uh, but in the future I would love to like maybe show like more of the things that we're doing, whether it's, you know, me um cleaning the closets or well i'm not cleaning the closet anymore that's done but like you know me maybe doing my cleaning stuff or me doing organizing um i'm also going to be showing like any kind of resets i do with the business um and different stuff like that so if you want to see those things let me know and until next time i'll talk to you later darling i talk so fast that i can't even pronounce like i don't even know if i'm pronouncing something like what the world i just need to slow down i get too excited and then i just can't slow down Mmm. -hmm.